Hey y'all, this is uh, Ross the Boss, and I'm going to play Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I know this this game doesn't have much to offer at the moment. It did have some, then removed, and, I, and I'm bad about talking bad about it once in a while too. It's just frustrating that I like things that I wanted to see stay, and then things that go, and it just seems like just they're ignoring. But what I like to do sometimes in this game, here lately, has been just doing some off-road. So I own everything in the stores and stuff like that. So let's, well, I don't, I didn't buy nothing with real life money. I don't, I'm not supporting it that way, but what I've bought with the game. So to me, this is about the best off-road game there is so far. And I mean, yeah, there's, there's uh, the snow runners, but I'm not going to play that. I'm not, I'm not going to buy the game. If they want to send me a copy, they can do that and I'll play it. But I'm not, I'm pretty much done buying games that, you know, I don't know. But anyway, I just like off-road and, and some places I do like to off-road is more in the swampy areas. And the snow is alright, but I just don't really care for snow too much. It, in real life, I think is what it is, because I have to have gotten work in it. So the, the suspension and stuff is really good on these. And you can do a lot with them. They don't float, though. So, so you can't, like, just drive them through the water and inspect them to you know last for it so look at the suspension on that i love i love the suspension on this the mud is pretty good too i mean it gets kind of boring just doing the same thing but if you want to drive like doom buggies around and you got you have ground deformation kind of it's not like real impressive but it, it's better than nothing and I have my settings on easy now, so I can enjoy this a little bit easier without dying one, with one sniper shot. I just, I don't know, I just like the off-road experience. It is so cool, though. And you have yourself some ramps in here, you know, stuff, you know. It's, it's just kind of cool. I mean, it's, it's a pretty good off-road game. And then you can have up to four people doing off-road with you. It runs pretty smooth once in a while. It messes up. Like, you'll see the guy just running outside the vehicle or something. It could be the internet connection. I mean, I have some iffy stuff, iffy internet connections sometimes. So, yeah, all right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get a different truck. So. And there's paths everywhere that you can take. And do, I don't know, I just enjoy it sometimes. I mean, what I'm doing here is kind of boring, but it's kind of fun, though. If you can't really have fun with the missions and stuff, you might have fun with the exploring and the uh, off-roading. The boats ain't the greatest. They kind of explode if you get them on land. Kind of weird. I don't know why. This <laughs> guy. Oh, demolition derby. Demolition derby. Alright. That was awesome. Never had him do that before. Like, ram me. Just actually shooting at me is normal, but ramming me is just not normal. Not sure why it pops up like that, but. And there's going to be a few bugs, but they're supposed to be fixing that stuff, so. Alright, let's get back in the truck now. This one's not in, uh, armored or anything. I don't think any of them's really armored. And you can change your days and nights, so if you want to play her at night, you can just do it. It's, it's pretty cool. So, like, if you want to just run around with trucks at night or just snipe things at night, I don't, I don't know. I find the game fun for off-roading. It gives me something to do and it keeps me it keeps me playing. You can also turn the lights on on the controller's left D-pad. The little There's no first person, so you just have to deal with the outside person. Oh, whoops. I've been playing the crew too. I've been playing the crew too too much. Hold on, hold on. My truck's running away. No. 
Come back. Okay, so you can lock your emergency brake up on the controller with your A. Yeah, so you can just do some massive Baja on. Trucks do get damaged pretty quick. Same with the choppers and stuff like that. Yeah, this is a good spot down here. If you get a couple friends together and race down through here, this would be awesome for racing. That base was loaded with people. <laughs> oh, I hit my brake. My bad. I think down through here there's a bunch of jade or something. I don't know. <laughs> and if you break, if you bust your, do too much damage, it'll knock your lights out so you don't have no lights. I guess the lights will still maybe work. I don't know. I don't think they show up there. Maybe they don't work at all. I'm pretty sure they don't work at all. I don't, I don't play it much at night. But and if you just want to get a little race going, you just, just get these guys going. They see you. They start shooting at you, but that's all right. <laughs> oh boy, there's a there's a checkpoint. Checkpoints are bad because there's snipers at them usually. Oh boy, he's pushing me. Some massive off-roading. I love looking at the front of my truck when I'm jumping over things. I don't know why. I've always done that. It just looks cool. The the landing is pretty good too. Pretty smooth. Oh boy, we have have some more guys. Oh boy, they're really filling this truck full of holes. Oh snipers, snipers. If you had that on normal or hard, it, one shot with a sniper would take you down. <laughs> That's why I like putting it on easy when I do this stuff and put it on whatever to make it the easiest and life generate really quick, so. The game's good, I mean, other than some of the stuff they've kind of ruined for me, but. One thing, one thing they ruined for me was the animations. There's some money right there. So, okay, the animations for the getting up and down and the uh, changing weapons out. The run I didn't I wasn't really worried about because that was kind of messed up anyway. But the rest of it was pretty cool. But now it's kind of like real easy, anyway. So like you could. So, say like when you get up, it would take you forever to get up. So and that's what I liked because it was just easy, you know. And then when you change weapons, it would actually put the weapon on its back and then grab another one, stuff like that. Oh, and these tires will pop. They don't pop off the rims though, but you can drive them flat. Oh, here comes somebody. Slows your truck down quite a bit. The shotgun guy. He kind of got in my way. Yeah, it slows your truck down a lot. Oh boy. Now the truck's starting to get get damaged. Oh, truck's out of order. They took in. Someone sniped it. Hit it hard. You gotta watch it now. The truck will be on fire. You don't want to run up to it right off the bat. Because that happens and kills you almost. So. Yeah. It, it's kind of... 
Uh, oh yeah, I forgot it dumps my ammo. I got it set up. <laughs> now see that my life. Okay, so see it refills instantly. That's what I have it set on now. I used to play it without all that. Another thing I don't really care for is the rocket launcher would be under this instead of actually on your character. So but you can throw grenades pretty far. I have a perk on there throwing grenades. So yeah. You can actually sniper and stuff, but I chose not to do that. Yeah, pistol this ain't this one ain't too good. I just enjoy playing it. I mean it's fun. I just wish I had more stuff to do and I wish they'd bring back some of the stuff. And then sometimes these rivers and stuff you can find jade, gold, and different things. So but that's just one thing you can do. And you can also sell it, but I don't really sell it. I just keep it. I'll show you. Hold on, I'll show you. I'll go over here and I'll hide in the bushes or hide. I'll just camouflage down so they can't find me. Get right here. Get up here in the dirt somewhere. I like right here. And it should give you an option if there's an option to prone camouflage. And it's not. But all right, we'll go up here. There we go. We're in. We're we just can't fly. Oh, he didn't. He's seen us. All right. All right. So now, so like, you can go to your inventory and check at any time. I have seven thousand, and here's my stuff. I just keep so my gold and stuff, and I have metal parts, different things. Metal parts is what you need to do different things. That's kind of cool. So. What you can do is you can have these gold. These things sell for like 200 and something a piece, I think, in the store. I don't sell them. I used to sell them, but I didn't have to worry about it. Um, my meat right here, I found a glitch. I landed a chopper on the possum, and it instantly gave me a bunch of meat. And I reported the bug. They shut it right down real quick. I told them they could reset my person if I want, if they wanted to. It didn't bother me. You hardly ever use this anyway at the moment. And I've killed quite a bit of stuff. I've done some hunting videos and stuff like that with this game. It's, it's really not much to it. You shoot a deer, you can shoot it with a BB gun on here and it drop it. <laughs> it's not really good hunting. They need to redo it like Far Cry or something. So that's how you do that. And then you have your weapons. You can't, you can customize a little bit here, but you can't change it out. So it'll tell you to go to a bivouac or someplace. So, but a lot of different things you can do. You can have up to four players. The game does pause. So like say, if you're one player game pauses this way game pauses this way now if you have one like two or more players in your scene or someone joins it and you're in this menu your game is not going to be paused no more real life stuff will start, everything will start happening to it so that's my little deal and i enjoy the game i just i get upset with it sometimes and i don't really mean to take it out on anything but oh yeah and you have these things see look this is what i'm talking about Okay, so we'll let it spot you. So I'm just playing solo here. I pull up my menu. I say I stay here for a second. Go out. I do this. It's still there. So you have one player solo play. So what this thing does is drop smoke on you. He uh, <clears throat> drops that forward. <laughs> And what you can do about that. Alright, so now. Easy is pretty much easy. And it works pretty good if you're just wanting to have fun. And that's pretty much how it is. And it, easy is easy. The behemoth simulator. They seem to be a little different, so 
I don't know. The, the behemoths just seem weird. Like, um, they don't change the status much. Extreme might be a little different. I did do a few on extreme, and then you have these now. Sometimes. I hit it. His helmet. Now he's down. Oh, there's another one. You don't get the minigun at the moment from these guys, but I've been on them, and a lot now a lot of other people's been on them. So maybe they'll get it out at some point. But I think the miniguns would be really cool. I don't care about the goofy outfit. The outfit does not look appealing to me at all. I think you still have your own armor set of whatever, customized, and stuff like that. But, anyway, like I said, I enjoy the game. Sorry if I talked your ear off, but I wanted to make it, like, my con content, not someone else's content. And I didn't want to be, like, whatever. So. You can also do this. Up, oh, kill civilian. Civilian. Sometimes you can shoot through things. I probably won't like edit this much just to get rid of some of the loading screen things. That takes a little bit of time. Stuff like that. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to kill that guy. My bad. You don't want to kill too many of those because now Ubisoft is doing this thing where if you kill too many innocent civilians, you go, you know, like game over. And then you have to reload your stuff up. So, yeah. Like, it doesn't reset you, but it just games over you. So, anyway, I am going to be uh, done. I just want to take it out on my own and show you what can be fun in it if you want to. It will get boring real quick, but they're supposed to be doing an update this month, July. Hopefully, they denied it. They like delayed it a couple times now. So, Let's see what happens. Supposed to be putting AI teams in, something like that. I don't know. I don't really care about that, but that's just they like. There's a raids thing too, but you have to have four players to enter the raid, and it's just really bad. I've heard, and I've watched a few videos, and I will not do it. And yeah, it's just you can't solo it. So if you think you're gonna go in there by yourself, you, psh, you can't. They made it totally. They, the division two it and screwed it up for you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. And I don't know. Sorry if I rambled on and on and over. Same thing. I just want to make my own content. Thanks.